Oh, bad boy. Bad boy. <sighs> More scared than I've ever been in my life, friends. But we must face it now and undo what we've done. Mm. Ah, the rain. This clan fear is still waiting for me. Ah, quite a hit. If I could take the run first, it might be for the best. Or perhaps I should just leave. If I can dip into the Oblivion Plane. Ah. I'm sure what finds me may be far, far worse, friends. Ah. Into healing. Well, we can at least get out of the rain. I suppose. Oh my. What a foul place we found. Uh, who is friend? Who is foe? The human seems like a friend. Allow me to assist! Shut them down! Ah. My blade is relatively Thank powerful. I, I never thought I'd see another friendly face. Nice to the see others. you. Taken. They were taken to the tower. Okay. Just please, slow down. Tell me what's going on. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> uh, Captain Menian needs your help. I think he shall be quite displeased to learn that you abandoned him in his hour of need. The captain is still holding the barricade? I figured I was the last one left alive. All right. I'll try to get out of here and let the captain know what's going on. Ah. Uh, some of them, you just can't talk to them, you know? Oh my. This is not a good place at all, friends. I'm sure there are far worse things than clan fears lurking in here. Across the bridge, I suppose, is where we go. But how to open the gate? Hmm. Opened elsewhere. Well. I know where that is. Perhaps over this way? Yes. The opening shot should help. Yes. Quite good. There we are, little friend. Not a problem. Peek him right off. Should only hope that something does not sneak up on me. Oh, friends. I had never been one to believe in magic. I experienced a fair share, obviously, living in Tamriel, but, uh, mm, it's quite a mysterious thing. Some people ask me, Brandar, how do you learn a magic spell? You simply must focus your mind. Even when you use an item, you must focus your mind in order to gain the power. I know a uh, story about a mage who learned a silent spell. Oh, don't fall in there. A vagabond walks into a bar and spies a stranger in the corner. He walks up to him. I think I heard of you, said the old vagabond, very impressed. Aren't you the adventurer who slew all those ash vampires in Ghostgate a couple of months back? That I am, said Oristian Silver Thorn with a weary smile for his admirer. He knew that his name was not yet legendary, and it was best to be polite. My name would have no meaning to you, but I'm Erer Dathoril, he said, raising a glass of grief. I hail from the region of Ghostgate, which is how I heard your name. Are you on an adventure as we speak? Yes, said Silverthorn with a grim expression. I'm challenged to rid the Grayslands of a rogue battle mage by the name of Agmaro. I've heard of him as well, said Dathoril. He's said to be a very powerful foe, 
an implacable foe. That's why I'm drinking now, sighed Silverthorn. So tell me, what's your profession? I do nothing, said Dathrell with some measure of pride, but in my youth I used to teach the skills of illusion at the University of Gwillow. Yeah. Perhaps you can help me then, said Silverthorn, suddenly excited. Can you teach the spell silence? I can certainly pay you. I do know that spell, said Dathril. You might find invisibility helpful as well, or perhaps darkness, which would allow you to sneak up on the old mage. No, said Silverthorn firmly. I have time to learn only one spell. I have to kill a Gamero, collect the reward, and be back in Nisus as quickly as possible. My wife worries when I'm away. Darthil agreed, and the two settled back into their seats at the corner club and tossed back glasses of grief. The old man shared his knowledge of the spell. He explained what it meant to truly bend sound, creating a cone of silence as glass can bend light. He had Silverthorn close his eyes while he tapped the side of his glass, making him picture the sound as the physical entity it was before it was extinguished. The adventurer, after a few hours of instruction, paid the old teacher and set off on his way. In Doranyan, Egermo's stronghold was not far from Sadith Mora, and he soon saw the blight and ruin that was the battle mage's calling card. Delving into the depths of the ruin, Silverthorn was set upon by the servitors of Egermo, living and undead. With his enchanted ebony blade, he cut through legions before facing the master himself in the desolate main hall. Egarmoro bowed to his adversary sardonically, and then prepared to unleash a fireball to incinerate him. Before he had uttered the first word of the spell, he suddenly found that all the creaking and sighing of the ruins around him had been stilled. He opened his voice to speak, but there was no sound. Silverthorn took his time, strolling down the length of the main hall, before dispatching the battle mage with one stroke of his blade. The adventurer rushed back to the Tribunal Temple, where he had received his quest. He accepted the gold and the thanks, and was back in his house in Nisus all but a few days later. His, his wife Leah was beside herself with worry. All I could do is toss and turn at night. I kept imagining you burned the ashes by that battle mage, and where would that leave me? Do we have enough gold to support myself? St. Sarah, let it not be so. Were you killed during one of the jots? I don't think so. You could get to a nice position at the Fighters Guild, right? In town, right? I hear they're looking for a trainer for the Imperial Guard. I know, I know, you want a life of adventure and danger and freedom, but if you take one moment to think of me stuck here all by myself worrying about you, I just suppose if I took it more of an interest in my work, but it was like telling Sir Fossium. But it's like I was telling Sir Calissia Vignum the other day. I said, Calissa, what a good husband is. Leah continued to talk, deaf to the fact that her words were dead before they left her mouth. Silverthorn smiled and nodded his head, enjoying the silence. He could have killed a Garmoro without the spell, he considered, but he could not have survived his wife. <laughs> so despite the humorous end to the story, it does tell us quite a bit about how the people of Tamriel are able to use magic. Ah! don't like these spittle plants, but maybe I can brew them into something useful. Oh, the Harada, I know about you. Oh, bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> uh, I, I do enjoy magic somewhat. I hope this is not a, a power growing within me. I would not like to become some sort of evil wizard. I put down evil wizards. And most would think that that would not be a, a smart thing for a bard to do. Go and risk his life against the elements. I know that the voice is a sort of magic. I have uh, been privy to its spell for quite a while. Oh my. Nasty, nasty fire traps. Hmm, and have I alerted somebody? I hope not. I'm not looking for a fight. If I can deal with it quickly and quietly, that would be for the best. Like so. Hmm. Watch for the Harada. 
Oh, this is a strange place. One of the worst I've been to thus far. <sighs> ah, I see you. I think you're so clever. Oh my, oh my. Yes. Little blast radius to it, I suppose. You must be aware of these Daedric devices of death. Can I shoot them? Seems not. Ah, don't poison me, don't poison me. Thank you so much. Trigger. Oh! What happens? Ah! <sighs> Foul. Back, 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 back. Don't like it. How does one set it off? Uh... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh! It misses. <sighs> I think it was a dad. Hmm. Maybe these Daedric Princes are not as infallible as they like to think. <sighs> but Brandar must find out. We've come quite far in our journey, friends. But I don't plan to stop now. Ha! <laughs> What a fool. Dremora Field Arrows. Yes, this looks quite different. Hmm. The metal is more jagged. It looks sure to kill. For now I will keep my silver arrows. Because we are in a realm where such things might uh, be of some use. Oh. Not me, buddy. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's bad. Because this, the waste of arrows, but that's okay. Stumble. Yes, he didn't even finish the cast. Hmm, these scamps seem relatively weak. But, I fear to think what is in these towers. I suppose it's almost time we had a look. But I do fear it. I fear it greatly. But in other thinking, this may just add to my power. Ah, you see? Brandar's speed comes in quite handy against these magic users. And that poor little imp went right through his head. Is in here. Moderate kill scroll. Hmm. I think I did use a wound scroll earlier, so perhaps if I can magnify that thought, I can be successful. Oh, please no. Kill it. Kill it dead. Hmm. Sump of misery. I don't like this at all, friends. This is a realm of misery. Oh, we've been spotted. Alright, you want some hand-to-hand? -hand? Hmm? Fireballs don't work on Brandar. I've seen that one far too many times, friend. You might as well just give up now. I'm telling you. You should lay down your arms. Oh, it's quite powerful. Must not let him cast. Hmm. This is not a stunted scamp. Yes. Quite a foe. He would definitely be. Hmm. I suppose we should have a look inside the Sump of Misery. But I'm also curious about the towers. That is what the gentleman said. My friends, they're taken to the tower. Well, I guess if Brandar can save many, it might be enough for the sacrifice of an emperor. Might make me feel a bit better anyways. Martin seems to abdicate his duty in my view, but no, never the matter. We, we must push on. We must convince him otherwise. Hmm. I don't see much. I'm sure there is an entrance somewhere to these towers. But it may very well start underground. 
it would be quite ingenious. The towers are just as horrifying as the arrows. The same barbed shape. Mm. I wish I could find the creatures that made this. I wish to test my skill against them. I believe I can come out on top, friends. We've been through hell and back. Quite literally at this point. <sighs> and what might be down here? More scamps. No matter. Hello. Come here, boy. Look this way. That's enough out of you. Ah, Harada, you got me again. Quite foul. These fleshy pods, I can only wonder. Hmm, scamp skin. You might you think that the scamp was imprisoned in this? Hmm. The terrifying place. Harada is everywhere. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.